Welcome back to another exploration of timeless wisdom. Today we're delving into Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich, a groundbreaking guide that offers more than just financial advice. From harnessing the power of desire and belief, leveraging the mystery of the subconscious mind, to the transformative potential of the mastermind group, Hill illuminates the path to success with principles that transcend mere wealth. Ready to unlock your blueprint for achievement? Let's get started. Diving into the pages of the transformative classic, Think and Grow Rich, we encounter a compelling story that resonates with the power of intention. A man, fueled by a singular vision, aspired to collaborate with none other than the legendary inventor, Thomas Edison. With minimal resources but an abundance of determination, he embarked on a journey to meet Edison. Unlike many who might have approached with a mix of hope and doubt, he was unyielding in his approach. With a voice filled with conviction, he proclaimed, I came here to go into business with you. This story isn't just a testament to boldness, it's a lesson in the art of intentionality. His clarity wasn't a mere display of audacity, it was the reflection of a purpose deeply etched in his heart. By eschewing the usual pleasantries and indirect overtures, he exemplified a level of resolve that was both inspiring and magnetic. This unwavering determination was, without a doubt, the foundation of his eventual alliance with Edison. Drawing parallels to our daily endeavors, let's consider a goal that many of us might have, weight loss. Instead of ambiguously expressing, I might try to get in better shape this year, be assertive and laser focused, stating, I will lose 10 pounds in the next three months. Such crystalline intentionality does more than just set a goal, it lays down a concrete pathway. With this level of clarity, you're not merely wishing upon a star, you're charting the course. This allows you to strategize your workouts, tailor your meals, and consistently monitor your progress with a well-defined target in your sights. This degree of precision not only channels our actions, but also imbues them with a sense of purpose, commitment, and urgency. As we journey through the principles laid out in Think and Grow Rich, it becomes evident that the foundation of all success is rooted in clarity of purpose. And so principle number one is clear intentionality, the undeniable power of precise and unwavering purpose. Delving deeper into the book, we uncover a lesson that resonates with the indomitable spirit of belief. The tale unfolds around a young boy, fueled by a burning desire to fund his education. Faced with the daunting task of selling a specific number of newspapers, he didn't succumb to the weight of doubt or the shadows of his perceived limitations. Instead, he anchored himself in an unwavering belief. He was resolute in his conviction that not only would every newspaper find a reader, but that his endeavor would also resonate with unparalleled success. It was this profound belief, rooted deep within, that propelled him to think outside the box, turning potential setbacks into stepping stones and skepticism into resounding victories. Now let's transpose this lesson onto the canvas of our own lives. Think of the myriad challenges we face, be it in pursuit of a coveted job, a personal project close to our hearts, or any ambition that sets our soul on fire. Instead of being daunted by the magnitude of the task or the potential pitfalls, what if we anchored ourselves in unwavering belief? Rather than getting entangled in the web of what-ifs and buts, visualize the pinnacle of success and harbor an unshakable faith in your prowess to reach it. When the world sees barriers, let your belief carve pathways. When others point out the risks, let your conviction illuminate the rewards. As we navigate the intricacies of think and grow rich, it becomes evident that the cornerstone of every success story is an unyielding belief in oneself. This isn't just about optimism, it's about an internal compass that remains steadfast, even when the external world is in turmoil. And so, principle number two is unwavering belief. Have absolute faith in your abilities and vision. Self-belief can overcome many obstacles. Delving further into the pages of this transformative tome, we encounter the third principle, one that stands as a beacon for progress and innovation. Through the annals of history, we're introduced to a scientist whose name is etched in golden letters. This paragon of scientific achievement, celebrated for his revolutionary discoveries, was also a testament to the power of humility and the insatiable thirst for knowledge. Despite a trove of accolades and worldwide recognition, he never rested on his laurels. 
For him, each award, each acknowledgement, was not an end, but a beginning. A stepping stone leading to the vast, unexplored frontiers of knowledge. When faced with enigmatic puzzles and scientific conundrums, he didn't retreat into the shadows of doubt or frustration. Instead, he embraced them as catalysts, propelling him further into the depths of literature, research, and hands-on experimentation. His laboratory, filled with instruments and apparatus, was not a closed chamber but a gateway, opening onto infinite horizons of understanding and discovery. Every challenge, every question, reignited his fervor for ceaseless learning and exploration. He was anchored in the belief that today's relentless pursuit of knowledge would unlock the doors to tomorrow's mysteries. Drawing parallels to our own journeys, consider the transformative power of adopting a perpetual student mindset. Regardless of our achievements, accolades, or the heights we've scaled, there's always more to learn, more to explore. In a world that's rapidly evolving, where change is the only constant, it's our commitment to continuous learning that ensures we don't just adapt, but lead. Whether it's mastering a new skill, understanding emerging technologies, or simply broadening our horizons, the quest for knowledge is what keeps us vibrant, relevant, and ahead of the curve. As we traverse these enlightening pathways, it becomes abundantly clear that the spirit of continuous learning is not just a principle, it's a way of life. And so, principle number three is continuous learning, the ever-burning torch that illuminates the path of progress and innovation. As we journey deeper into this treasure trove of wisdom, the fourth principle unfurls itself, emphasizing the power of collective effort. Through the lens of an ambitious entrepreneur, we witness the transformative potential of collaboration. At the dawn of his entrepreneurial journey, he was acutely aware that while his vision was crystalline, the path to its fruition was riddled with challenges too vast for a single mind to navigate. Rather than attempting to traverse this labyrinth alone, he sought the wisdom of diverse minds, forming a council of thinkers, innovators, and experts. This wasn't merely a gathering of yes-men or sycophants. Instead, it was an assembly of individuals who, while supportive, brought their unique insights, expertise, and experiences to the fore. Their collaborative spirit was not just about mutual agreement, but about challenging, refining, and enhancing each other's ideas. In the crucible of their collective brainstorming, innovative solutions were birthed. Each member's expertise filled the gaps left by another, creating a holistic approach to problem solving. Ideas underwent rigorous scrutiny, were honed to perfection, and matured at an accelerated pace, all thanks to the combined vigor of this collaborative council. The result? A venture that not only navigated the stormy seas of challenges, but also charted new territories, reaching pinnacles previously deemed unattainable. Reflecting on our own endeavors, the magic of collaboration becomes palpable. Whether it's a project, a challenge, or a dream, aligning ourselves with individuals whose strengths dovetail with our weaknesses can be a game changer. A multifaceted view of a problem, enriched by diverse perspectives, often reveals solutions that remain hidden to the solitary thinker. It's in the confluence of varied minds that novel strategies emerge, pathways previously obscured become clear, and visions are propelled beyond the confines of individual limitations. As we continue our exploration, it becomes clear that collaboration isn't just a strategy, it's an art, a force multiplier that amplifies potential and transcends boundaries. And so, principle number four is leverage collaboration, the synergistic force propelling visions beyond individual limits. As we delve even deeper into these profound depths, a timeless beacon of knowledge, the fifth principle emerges, shining a light on the essence of decision-making. Through the gripping narrative of a ship captain, we witness the sheer power of decisive action. Amidst a tumultuous storm, with towering waves menacingly looming over his ship, the captain found himself at a crossroads. Two paths lay before him, to seek refuge in a nearby harbor, potentially compromising his mission, or to brave the storm's fury, aiming to reach the intended destination punctually. While the weight of such a decision would paralyze many with indecision, the captain, fortified by years of experience and honed intuition, made a resolute choice. His decisiveness was not a mere act of audacity. It was a calculated risk, a blend of accumulated knowledge, instinct, and unwavering commitment to his mission. By choosing a course and steadfastly adhering to it, he skillfully steered the ship through the storm's wrath. 
His reliance on the crew's expertise, combined with the ship's sturdy design, played a pivotal role. This timely and decisive action not only circumvented potential catastrophe, but also underscored the invaluable role of swift decision-making, especially when the stakes are high. Drawing parallels to our own lives, we often find ourselves at similar junctures, be it launching a new business venture, embarking on a creative endeavor, or pursuing a cherished personal goal, our journey is invariably dotted with moments demanding decisions. True decisiveness isn't about impulsiveness, it's about swiftly evaluating available information, trusting one's instincts, and then acting with unwavering determination. By sidestepping the quagmires of endless deliberation and self-doubt, we generate a forward momentum, a force that not only propels our dreams into reality, but also navigates through the unpredictable seas of challenges. As we continue to navigate these enlightening corridors, it becomes abundantly clear that decisive action is not just a principle, it's a catalyst, a transformative force that turns visions into tangible realities. And so, principle number five is decisive action, the driving force that carves paths through uncertainty and propels endeavors to fruition. Navigating deeper into this reservoir of wisdom, the sixth principle takes form through the life of a tenacious mountaineer. While scaling one of the world's most formidable peaks, this climber encountered avalanches, treacherous terrains, and unpredictable weather. Yet, each setback was met not with resignation, but with an undying spirit of perseverance. When his initial route proved impassable, he sought another. When equipment failed, he improvised. The mountain tested him, not only physically, but mentally and emotionally, pushing him to the brink of his endurance. Yet what separated this mountaineer from many before him was his relentless persistence. Instead of viewing challenges as insurmountable barriers, he saw them as temporary obstacles on the path to the summit. Every setback was merely a lesson, a stepping stone, pushing him to innovate, adapt, and grow stronger. Translating this to our personal and professional lives, we all face our own mountains. Be it a challenging project, a career change, or personal growth, the route is seldom straightforward. But with a heart full of relentless persistence, challenges morph from daunting barriers to surmountable hurdles. By staying committed and continually pushing forward, we harness the ability to transform setbacks into comebacks. In the realm of personal growth and achievement, it's evident that relentless persistence isn't just a principle, it's a mindset, a force that, when harnessed, can move mountains. And so, principle number six is, relentless persistence, the unyielding force that turns dreams into realities against all odds. As we continue our exploration, the seventh principle emerges, illuminating the power of inner energies. Through the captivating story of a fervent artist, we witness the transformative potential of tapping into one's core essence. Born in a humble town, far removed from the artistic hubs and cultural epicenters, this artist had little more than an innate talent and an insatiable desire to express her inner world. Instead of seeking external muses or waiting for inspiration to grace her from the outside, she embarked on an introspective journey by channeling her innermost energies, her fervent passions, her unbridled creativity, and her limitless imagination. She breathed life into masterpieces. Her art was not merely a play of colors on canvas. It was a reflection of her soul, a manifestation of her innermost energies. Through her work, she showcased the profound impact one can achieve when they dive deep within, tapping into the wellspring of emotions, dreams, and narratives that reside there. Her creations, imbued with her essence, resonated universally, touching hearts and souls across diverse backgrounds. Her journey became a testament to the idea that true brilliance and unparalleled success often stem from recognizing, understanding, and harnessing the immense power of our inner energies. Reflecting on this, we realize that each individual possesses a unique tapestry of strengths, passions, and inspirations. The most profound sources of motivation and drive often don't come from external accolades or influences, but from a deep connection with our own inner energies. Take, for instance, Steve Jobs, the visionary co-founder of Apple. His ability to merge art with technology was not just a business strategy, but a reflection of his inner passion to create products that were both functional and beautiful. His iconic presentations, 
brimming with enthusiasm and conviction, were clear manifestations of this inner energy, leaving an indelible mark not just on his immediate team, but on millions worldwide. Such stories underscore the transformative power of recognizing and channeling our intrinsic motivations and energies. And so, principle number seven is, harness inner energies, the catalyst that ignites potential and propels one towards their destined greatness. As we journey further into the realm of personal growth and achievement, the eighth principle emerges, emphasizing the subtle yet profound power of intuition. Let's revisit the story of Edwin C. Barnes, which we touched upon earlier. Barnes's aspiration to collaborate with the legendary Thomas Edison wasn't solely anchored in a logical framework or a meticulously crafted plan. At its core, it was driven by an intuitive belief, a deep-seated gut feeling, that he was preordained to work in tandem with Edison. This intuitive conviction, perhaps even more potent than any empirical data or strategic blueprint, became the cornerstone of Barnes's eventual success alongside Edison. Similarly, let's reflect upon Steve Jobs, a name we've previously discussed. Beyond his prowess in harnessing inner energies, Jobs was a beacon of intuition. He consistently underscored the significance of listening to that faint yet persistent inner voice, even when it seemed to challenge established norms or defy the prevalent logic of the day. His famous words, don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice, encapsulate this philosophy. It was this unwavering allegiance to his intuitive insights that propelled him to launch groundbreaking products like the iPhone, even when market analyses and prevailing trends suggested a different course. Drawing from these narratives, it becomes evident that while logical reasoning and structured planning are invaluable, there's an innate wisdom within us, often whispering insights and guiding our steps. This intuitive voice, though subtle, can be incredibly potent. In our daily pursuits, whether they be professional challenges, personal endeavors, or creative projects, pausing to listen to this inner guidance can often reveal paths and opportunities that might otherwise remain obscured. By cultivating a relationship with our intuition, by learning to trust these internal nudges, we often find ourselves navigating life's journey with a clarity and wisdom that transcends mere logic. And so, principle number eight is, trust your intuition, the silent guide, subtly directing our steps towards destined greatness. As we approach the zenith of our exploration into the principles of personal growth and achievement, the ninth and pivotal principle stands tall, emphasizing the transformative power of confronting and mastering our deepest fears. Among the myriad tales of resilience and courage, one story stands out, that of Franklin D. Roosevelt, the 32nd President of the United States. Stricken by polio and left with paralyzed legs, Roosevelt's challenges were not merely physical. He grappled with societal expectations, the weight of leadership, and the personal fears that accompanied his condition. Yet, instead of being ensnared by these fears, he chose to face them head-on, leading a nation through some of its most tumultuous periods, including the Great Depression and World War II. His resounding declaration, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself, serves as a timeless testament to the transformative power of confronting our fears. Reflecting on our own journeys, it's evident that fears in various forms cast shadows on our paths, be it the fear of failure, the trepidation of criticism, or the unsettling unknown. These fears can either paralyze us or propel us, depending on our response. Figures like Roosevelt illuminate the path, showcasing that fears, when faced with courage and conviction, can metamorphose from daunting barriers to powerful motivators. By evading or denying them, we inadvertently empower them. However, by acknowledging, understanding, and confronting them, we reclaim our agency, turning potential roadblocks into launch pads for growth. As we wrap up our exploration, it becomes clear that the journey to personal and professional success is as much about external strategies as it is about internal battles. And among these battles, the conquest of our fears stands paramount. And so, principle number nine, and our concluding insight is, face and overcome fears, the ultimate key to unlocking potential, forging forward with unwavering courage. And that concludes our exploration of the nine pivotal principles from Think and Grow Rich. Napoleon Hill's teachings have shaped the paths of many, and I sincerely hope you found insights today that will propel your own journey towards success 
and abundance. Remember, the journey to prosperity isn't just about accumulating wealth, but also about growing as an individual and realizing one's fullest potential. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. And if you liked what you saw, a like would mean the world to me. It helps support the channel and lets me know you want to see more content like this. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.